All right, we're gonna talk about a, a drill to do with your strong hand, or this is on the part of the game you can work on when you have that strong hand where you can see the paint like a catcher on your bottom hand. If you can see that or a friend can face on, or obviously I can see it right here, you'll tend to close the club face of the golf club which makes balls go low and left. Can you change it in the middle of the round of golf? It's hard. But as I'm also suggesting uh, for the weekly or monthly golfers who don't necessarily practice a lot, just play the low left shot as you're out there playing golf. When you do have a little bit of time to practice chipping, Consider chipping with one hand on the golf club. You can start to maybe square up the leading edge a little bit more. Get your right hand more facing the target for these practice chip shots. And I just, it's a very challenging drill, but I just like having golfers chipping balls maybe 10 yards away from the green with a little pitching wedge, maybe if you have a 56 degree, but take short shots with one hand, you'll, you'll notice that your best shots will be when you keep turning and moving the right shoulder through with the golf club. It's a good habit. It's a frustrating one. It will take you some time to get the timing down. But once you do, then you can put your left hand on there and continue on with this type of movement through the shot for a little mini motion. You got to get that down really consistently before you start taking bigger swings and trusting it more on the golf course. So the one-handed drill with chipping will start to make your right shoulder move through and start hitting the ball more solid and up in the air without you trying to dip your shoulder and try to raise the ball in the air. That's when you start having those shots that you hit behind the ball or you top it. So there you have it. Coach Todd here for Enchantment Sports. We'll see you down the fairway.